Well, welcome to our backyard. We're in the municipality of Tweed and we're paddling on the Scudamata River for a day trip. We, uh, we uh, went from the access point on Highway 7 and paddled up to a place called High Falls, had some lunch. And yeah, it's a great place to go. There's lots of places to go here for day tripping. And uh, I, I think, you know, maybe a lot of people don't know that because the Highway 7 corridor, the rivers like the Moira, the Scudamata, the Black River, even the Crow River, they're all well known, even the Salmon River, I think, further on, uh, are well known for whitewater tripping in the spring. And then in the summer and the fall, people really just don't even bother. But you've got these little hidden sections between the rapids and between the falls you can do for day tripping, and I just love it. Easy, leisurely paddle along the way, Kyla's fishing, uh, my wife's uh, taking some photos, we're having a good day. So this is the science behind the J-stroke. If I just use a power stroke like this, the canoe is going to drift off to the right of on my, on my left-hand side. So I actually want to get it back to the left-hand side. So what I could do is to do something called a goonie, and my thumb goes up on the top and I push the water away from the side of the canoe, and that's a goonie stroke. It's a steering stroke. It works. There's nothing wrong with it. But see, if I do this, and then I do the goonie, the canoe does come back to the left, but it breaks. So I go forward, break, forward, break. And it's, it's effective, but it's a waste of energy. So the idea of a J stroke is I go in the water and I actually go put my thumb down on the top. So if my thumb's up, I'm doing the goonie. If my thumb's down, I'm doing the J. So J stroke goes like this and I push the water away from the canoe and it does the same thing. So again, the canoe goes to the right. I do the J and the canoe comes around to the left. Remember that it's facing up to the sky, that's goonie. But if you want to do the J stroke, it's down. So the next stroke I'm going to show is called the Canadian stroke. It's an extended J. I think it's called the Canadian stroke because Canadians go on long canoe trips. And if you're going on a long canoe trip and you're just doing the J stroke all day, you're going to get a sore wrist all the time. What you want to do is use the gunnel. So you want to ride the shaft along the gunnel and then actually slice it up a bit further, uh, further along the side of the canoe until you take it out of the water. So it's like this. That's all the Canadian stroke really is. And see how nice and fluid that is? If I do this all day, it's really relaxing, okay? And you have to say, that's a Canadian stroke, eh? Every time you do it, because it's Canadian. Well, you don't see that every day. I'm on a banner in Tweed. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Uh, that's me paddling the Scudamata River. That's fantastic. I even impressed my wife and daughter. Experience Kevin Callan. 